Thank you, Rob. All right, here we go. She'll call, I'll draw every train. She'll land, she'll get anything she wants. Tommy, we don't hear you yet. Hello. All right, I guess Rob isn't there, so I'm just going to play. Can you hear me? All right. You 
say it best When you say nothing at all All day long I can hear people talking But when you hold me near, you drown out the black crowd. Old Mr. Webster, he could never define what's being said between your heart and mine. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. Truth in your eyes say you'll never leave me. Touch on your hand says you'll catch me if ever I fall. You say it best. You say nothing at all You say nothing at all When you say nothing at all Yeah <laughs> I'm on the mic. There's a light, a certain kind of light. Never shown on me. I want my life to be lived with you, lived with you. <laughs> There's a way. Everybody say to do each and every little thing. But what good does it bring if I ain't got you? Ain't got you. Don't know what it's like, baby. You don't know what it's like to love somebody, to love somebody the way I love you. In my brain, I see your face again. I know. 
know my frame of mind You ain't got to be so blind And I'm blind So very blind I'm a man Can't you see what I am? I live and breathe for you. But what good does it do if I ain't got you? Ain't got for you. What it's like, oh, baby, baby. You don't know what it's like to love somebody, to love somebody the way I love you. Well, that was wonderful. And this is my little sound check. For some reason, Sarah didn't run in here and tell me that she can't hear me. So it worked. I'm Rob. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am your host for the commitment ceremony of Dee and Tommy. And I'm very happy to tell the bride and groom and, and uh, <clears throat> bridal party there's over 50 people on Cam Fraud watching us and listening to us and I right, let's get underway. I welcome you here today to bear witness with me to the lifelong partnership of Tommy and D. I did not realize that right. I didn't write this. We are here not only to witness their commitment to each other, but also to wish them well and every happiness in their life together. Tommy and D acknowledge the special relationship that they share. They have found it easy to be honest and open with each other and comfortable with their family and friends. And for that, they would like to thank you. It is their wish to today, today to declare their love and partnership before you all. It is a statement of a mutual relationship and a commitment to each other. Tommy and Dee want to honor their relationship with the significance of a ritual. And today we will dedicate an evening not only to Tommy and Dee, but to the family they have created who are with us today. I am obliged to clearly indicate to you that this ceremony does not represent a legal marriage, but however, it does represent a moral one before God and men. A commitment such as yours involves the voluntary and full commitment of the two of you. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered in, into with desire, the hope, and the firm intention that it will last for life. When two people join together and bond their lives forever, because they are certain they have something special that will make their commitment last, this is the first act of faith. Upon this act of faith, these two people will build a life. And as long as their determination stays with them, this life will always be their hope, their dreams, their truth, their being, and their inspiration and their source of strength. Through their life together, they will hurt and laugh. Together they will feel all of life's ups and downs. They will learn and grow through trial and error. The lessons will show them the meaning of true love and the difference between a love that lasts and one that just gives up. These two people will face each failure together and discover the strength to go on. They will encourage each other's dreams and forgive each other's faults. Through a labor of love, these two will become as one, fighting against the odds and ultimately creating a commitment that will grow into an infinite love. Tommy and Dee have a unity candle that they're going to light together now. So please do that.
Beautiful. Tommy, will you take D to be your lifelong partner? Will you love and respect her? Be honest with her and stand by her through whatever life may hold so you can genuinely share your life life together? I will. And D, will you take Tommy to be your lifelong partner? Will you love and respect him? Be honest with him and stand by him through whatever life may hold so you can genuinely share your life together? Indeed, I will. Tommy and Dee are going to exchange their vows and rings now. All right, Tommy. Well, accept this ring with my love, take it and wear it, and assemble as a symbol that we all share today and always. I love you without exception or reward. I love you because you are you in spite of You gotta push. There well, we go. <laughs> There's one in the back there about now. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Okay. D, accept this ring with my love. Take it and wear it as a symbol of all we share today and always. I love you without exception or reward. I love you because you are who you are and not in spite of. Tommy, when we first met, it was instant love. Us. We vowed to marry. Things changed for us due to my health, and we lost track of each other for a decade. Then you messaged me on Facebook, and as it was a decade later, and if you remember, you asked me to just to call you, you left your number. So I called you right away, remember? It was midnight. Oh, yeah. And it was instant magic all over again. Now, decades passed. And I remember, all I remember now is the always and forever that we promised each other so long ago. You know, we met the next day after work, and we've been together since five years now. And I've spent five years loving you and building our life together and our dreams together. And now it is time to commit to you forever and always as we've always dreamed. And things come and go in life, but our love has never died, but only grown stronger. I bow to you here today, a commitment of forever and always that comes our way and will stand, that I will stand by your side and I faithfully, respectfully, always loyally admire and honor you as a wife should honor her husband. This commitment is here today before God and men, as we're told in the Holy Word of God. I love you now and forever and always, my one and only, my forever and always. Well, it's going to be hard to follow up right there. But See, my whole life has been searching for something. When we met the first time, I found it. We lost it, and we found it again. So this time, I'm going to ask you again, but I'm going to ask you a song. <laughs> This world with me. Where I go, share all my dreams with me. For I need you so. In 
night we stir. And some of us find I look for you a long, long time. And now that I found you, the horizons I see, come take my hand and walk. world with me so where I go share all your dreams with me for I love you so in life we search and some of us find I look for you Now that I found you, new horizon I see. Come take your hand and walk through this world with me. That was truly beautiful. beautiful. Sorry about that. Uh, our second reading is some thoughts from two different books by Richard Bach. The first book being uh, one. An easy life doesn't teach us anything. In the end, it's the learning that matters, what we've learned and how we've grown. We can have excuses or we can have health, love, longevity, understanding, adventure, money, happiness. We design our lives through the power of our choices. We are each given a block of marble when we begin a lifetime and the tools to shape it into a sculpture. We can drag it behind us untouched, we can pound it into the gavel, or we can into gravel, or we can shape it into glory. We generate our own environment and from the book Illusions, the bond that links your true family is not one of blood, but of respect and joy in each other's life. These are profound words, and in the case of Tommy and Dee, who are both people who choose not always to take the easy option, but together they are sculpting a relationship that they are both proud of. They're both committed to the growth of their family unit and committed to the relationship. I think generally wanting a relationship to stay strong, you must be committed to staying true to yourself, committed to accepting yourself as is, committed to standing up for what you believe in, committed to expressing your essential nature so that with your partner, all of you come shining through. Commitment is not a blind vow. It is an act of faith made with your eyes wide open. We make a commitment like this only with someone who sees and loves you for who you are, someone whom you desire to know better than any other being on the planet, whom you want to love unconditionally. Commitment stretches us. It often pushes us past our comfort zone. They invite us to have more faith and find love in unexpected places. They dare us to surrender to something grander than we ever imagined something beyond a passing feeling or infatuation, beyond fear and beyond insecurities. Commitments lead us to the place where we can stop, look around and say, I am home. Today is a celebration of your relationship. Everyone here wishes you continued happiness and we all hope that life will continue to hold the very best of everything for you. <coughs> By having this ceremony here today, I hope it will in some way increase your capacity to live your life to the fullest. Congratulations to you both. I'm very proud to be the first person to address you as man and wife. 
to you and Tommy, my very, very, very dear friends. Thank you. Wes will play a final song. After the song, the bride and groom are going to go for pictures, and then they will catch up with us at the reception, which is already going on at the end from. Am I on? Can you hear me? All right. Just a couple of quick words. Uh, this is a, it was a pleasure to meet Tommy's mama. Hello there, uh, Tommy's mama. Pleasure. Uh, I was quite honored when your son asked me to, to stand in as his best man. Uh, it, was a, it was a hard thing to do with him being a Dallas Cowboys fan, but it had to be done, I guess. Rather sleep in a box Like a bum on the street Than a fine feathered bed Without your little old cold feet I'd rather be deaf Gum and stone blind and to know that your mornings will never be mine. I'd rather die young than to live without you. I'd rather go hungry than to eat lonesome stew. You know, it's once in a lifetime And it won't come again It's here and it's gone On a magnolia wind And I'd rather not walk Through the garden again if I can't get your scent On a magnolia wind So if it ever comes time That it comes time to go Sis, pack up your fiddle Sis, pack up your bow if I can't dance with you Then I won't dance at all I'll just set this one out With my back to the wall And I'd rather not hear Pretty music again if I can't get your fiddle On the magnolia wind If I can't get your scent On a magnolia wind Thank you so much for joining us. That was great, Wes. We'll see y'all on Camp Frog shortly. The bride and groom and buyer party have to go have pictures. Probably be gone about a half an hour. See you there. <laughs>